Hi, this is Bo Sanchez and welcome to Success Live. And I am now with our dear friend, Rafi Nene. Rafi, hello. Hi, very well. You know what? Uh, Rafi, is, he says that he's shy. He says that uh, he's nervous right now. But we decided to bring him here on this show because he has a fantastic story to tell. And we start from the very beginning. By the way, if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comment section. And, uh, but I want you to listen to this incredible story. Ravi, what island? I come from Masbari Island. Masbate. Yeah, from Bicol. Yes, yeah. yes. And uh, you're, you're, you were telling me that, uh, or I know this, that you, you come from a poor background, uh, your family. And uh, you were, you were. Was that was that uh, you had a difficult time going to college because of that, because of the financial problems, Tamaba? Yes, very well. Your your uh, father. What was his work? Uh, my father was a fisherman. Fisherman. And my mom is uh, only housekeeping. Oh, and how many of you are in the family? We are uh, nine in. Nine the in the family, <laughs> and you are number. Number two. <laughs> number two. So, did your father have a fishing boat? Yeah, we have a fishing boat. He, okay. he managed a fishing boat to yeah. go to shore. But, but as a fisherman, it was not enough? Yeah, very small amount of money, income. It cannot, it cannot fund the family of nine. Wow, I can imagine good. that. But uh, so your father would work every day. He, like early, early in the morning, he would already be in, at sea. Yeah, very early, very well. <laughs> <laughs> and would you help him or stay at home? What would what do I, you do? I help during my uh, when the school uh, end during summertime. Yes, yes. I go with him. Yes, uh, wow. Fishing and then to get uh, money for another spend in the school. So you know, I I know a little bit of of this background, and I'm sure some people would like to know this. So when the fishing boat lands like after your father collects the fish he sells it you, you do, he sells it to the market what happens uh, we have a buyer going in our in our place and they buy our fish okay so you live not in Masbate capital but in the the remote area in the remote yeah. area Wow. In uh, muni municipality of Kawaya. Wow. Yeah. Now, now, I want you to hold on, hang in there, because I, I really want to look into this, because you'll be so surprised at what happened to this man and the incredible blessing uh, that God has poured into his life. So, okay, so you had no money, well, you had very little money, but at least you were able to study. Yeah. You're able to go to school, public school, uh, yeah, high pub school, public grade school. school. Okay, and then you wanted to go to college. Yeah, there's a big problem, my father, because it's no tuition money for tuition fee. Wow! And he decided to borrow money in our relatives wow. just to fund my tuition fee in wow. the college. And that's a familiar story, you know. Yeah, I yeah. mean, many many families go through that because you want to send your child to school, and you are nine. How? How? My gosh! That's that's crazy. Okay, out of the nine children, how many were able to go to college? Uh, we are my my brother, my uh, my brother ahead of me. Uh, only 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 two brothers. Only yeah. two. Yeah. Wow. Only two out of nine is. Cannot go to college. Yes, yes. Okay, and the the thing that you I remember, you would also be a a pedicab driver, a tricycle driver. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. During during my high school time. Uh, high school. Yeah. And my, my my mother and father will transfer to the island, and they can send money to us for allowance to buy some food. So we decided, my brother, to go for. Uh, pretty cup. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Then, hard work. Yeah, very hard. That's crazy, amazing, and uh, that's how you earned. So I, I, I want you to think about this. This man coming from Masbate, 
you know, poor family, uh, had a difficult time going to college, family had to borrow money, and uh, during high school he was working as a pedicab driver, you know, just so that he could put food on his table, just so he could earn some, a little allowance, so yeah. that he could go to school. Yes, very, yeah. yeah. What happened? You know, you're now a successful entrepreneur, and you've got this beautiful, thriving business, businesses, you know, not just one. So I, I want to find out what happened. You know, because there's so many people who come from poor places and they're still there. They want to know, how did you do it? Where did it all start? Uh, during, during my, uh, it all start variable after my graduation in college because uh, I've been uh, hired immediately. Wow. Yeah, going to as, uh, OFW uh, Seaman. Yeah. To so all the OFWs there listening, uh, I hope you are listening. God bless you. So Rafi became an OFW. What was the course that you took up in college? Uh, I took up the Bachelor of Science in Maritime Transportation, which is Maritime. nautical. Nautical. Yeah, yeah. And then you became a seaman. Yeah, uh, immediately I am um, hired and then I became a seaman. You started at the very bottom? Yeah, it's a cadet. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you call it cadet? Yeah, it's okay. cadet. And then how many years were you a seaman? Uh, it took so long, about 15 years. 15 yeah. years, yeah. Very, very long time, but no money has been saved. <laughs> oh no, yeah. really? Yeah, very... The money that we have earned in the, as an OFW, uh, when you have a contract of nine months and then stand by for about three months, it will not oh God. enough. Even though how big is that variable? Because, really? Yeah. Really? Wow. You know, this is again a very common story among OFWs that they do earn money, they do have, you know, uh, bigger salary compared to those Filipinos who are in our country. Yes, very big. Yeah. But they're not able to save. Yeah. Why? Because the, the mindset variable. Mindset. Yeah. No save, only because the mindset is I have a work after I, I will I will spend this money all and then I have to go after three months. <laughs> Does this sound familiar, guys? Yeah. You know, think about it. It's, it's just crazy. Uh, but it's, it's reality, raw reality. I'm going to earn anyway, you know? I'm going to go back anyway. So I could just spend. So no, no thinking of I'm going to save. There's, there's none, none of that. Amazing. So 15 years. 15 years. As yeah. a seaman. And, and very, no savings or very little savings? Uh, only only I, I realized, Brother Bo, that as a seaman, I cannot save big money. Oh. And so I decided to find the ways on how could I, I used my money, my savings, small savings after vacation, uh, in my vacation time. So I decided to find uh, a mentor oh. that could guide me on how to put up a startup business. Wow. Yeah, so I have decided to enroll your uh Conference, super conference last 2013 in Cebu. I remember. <laughs> we, we had a truly rich club super conference in Cebu. Uh, what year was that? 2013. Wow, we? that was uh, four years ago. Yeah. And amazing, amazing. So you, yeah, that's right. You attended that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It, it could give me um, some idea on how to run the business, the advisor, the mentors. So I start. I start a, a business. What was that business? That that business is a, and a car upholstery. Car uh, yeah. upholstery. Or the sofa. Sofa. Yeah. Why? Why that business? You have a background there. I'm not no background. <laughs> totally. <laughs> wow! <not>. Wow! <laughs> Only whenever I find my my cousin. Ah. Uh, she. He is working for about 10 years. Ah, so there. Yeah. The expertise is the with expertise, your cousin. Yeah, yeah. And you partnered with him. Yeah, I partnered with him and 
our business grow, uh, some customers. Wow, oh. they like the quality. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's the time we, we, we managed the, the business. And it, uh, actually, the SM is one of our customers. Shoe, SM. Yeah. So I, I say shoe mart because yeah. of my age, right? Yeah. Sorry for that. So SM is your customer. Yeah, one of our customers is the... <laughs> They're, they're cinema, they got, they got us. Oh, uh, all the seats of the cinemas? Yeah. You're, you're, you're the one who makes that? No, uh, no actually, but we, we only repair. Yeah, repair, yeah. that's right, that's crazy. Make, wow, that's yeah. amazing. Uh, that's one of our success for that business managing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but now it's, uh, the ACM is trusted us uh, yes. for the quality. So Absolutely. They hired us also with their... New new building oh. SM the the they trust us to upholster their doors. Amazing. Healthy doors. Wow. So, so uh, you you started this business four years ago. Yeah, four years so ago. So until now it's there, it's grown, it's serving more people. Yeah, yeah, very much. Wow, that's incredible. There you have it guys. Look at this man. Uh, incredible story. From, from where he came from to where he is now. Do you have any other businesses you want to you, you, you talk about? Uh, I have a fishing boat, but... Uh, really? Yeah, it's not working well, but I, I try to manage it also to, <laughs> to grow. That's great. So it's in Masbate? Yeah, it's Masbate Island. Where... Okay. So the business that, that really worked is this one? Yeah. The upholstery? The upholstery. Yeah, so, I, I have also a plan also to uh, running my abalone farm and the. You have an abalone farm. Yeah, and the what do you call this uh, resort? You have a resort. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so. beach resort. <laughs> <laughs> you have a beach resort. Where? In Masbate, brother, in Masbate. But, but still developing, not yet yeah. uh, running anyway. Yeah, so you, you, you're, you're developing, you're building yeah, the yeah. homes, the, the rooms. Yeah. Wow. But only, uh, not, not yet really developed. That, that is incredible. I just love that. You blow me away, Rafi. Thank you. You, you, that's the kind of, that's what revs me up. That, that's what fires me up. You know, somebody of his background, you know, being it with, a, with a fisherman's family, now, you know, building a beach resort in Masbate also. You know, we, we, I think the future of this country uh, is tourism. I really oh. believe that. Tourism is the future of the Philippines. Because, uh, you know, OFWs, we want them to come home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then the call center agents, um, that will be affected by, by Siri and, the, and other artificial intelligence. So, so I mean, we, we hope, we hope that that industry will, will be maintained but um, there, there are so many things that can affect that industry so tourism is the key to making this country grow and we only attract six billion people uh, wow. every year um, someone like 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 Thailand will attract 30 35 million you know so it's very far but if you have a resort like that you know we, we hope that more people like, you know, Masbate is not a tourist destination yet. Yes. You know, right. Barakay, Bohol, you know. Yeah. But let's hope that Masbate becomes that tourist destination too. You've got a beautiful island. Yeah, it's a good island, but it's full of uh, fishing, seafood. Uh. Seafood, yeah. yeah. Beautiful beaches. But, yeah, there's also uh, be be beautiful beaches also. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. So I, I hope you're, you're, you know, impacted as as i am with this guy and uh, you know the simple story of just making finding a way finding a way to become an entrepreneur and uh, is there is there anything you'd, you'd like to share to me and share to us uh, on on how to on how to you know you you you've started this uh, upholstery business and what, what what advice do you want to give somebody who who wants to start uh, a business like that? Uh, my my advice, brother Bo, is to to my OFW also that we, when you decided to put up a business, you must 
stop your your career <laughs> and then focus on that business <laughs> because if you leave that i i will surely see that it will go down okay. yeah because the people is the people you have given in charge we, we cannot trust yeah yeah totally yeah that was that yeah, was that was that was a big jump for you no that was so huge a jump for you just making a decision Thank okay this is it I'll, I'll focus on business yeah that's why i i resigned <laughs> oh my gosh and you're so successful now yeah it's amazing thank you so much thank, thank you, you. wow there you have it guys and and uh, to all the truly rich club members i'm going to be interviewing him again in our show success code available eight o'clock in the morning and available for the next four days and i want you to catch um you know what I'm going to do in, in Success Code? I'm going to really analyze specifically that jump that he made from OFW to entrepreneur. What were the steps that he made? Like, you know, it's, it's not just, okay, I'm, I'm going to start a business, boom, you know? I'm sure there was some research done. I'm sure there was some, you know, he attended our seminar, for example, and, and all that stuff. So we, we're going to explore that in Success Code. Truly Rich Club members, please, please, please watch that show. That's for you. That's an exclusive show for you. Oh, for those of you who are not yet members of the club, do join us. We'd love you to be with us and sign up at www.trulyrichclub.com. And... Let's say a prayer for everyone. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you for the miracle that Rafi's life is giving us. And we pray for all those who are watching this show, that more blessings be theirs. We especially pray for OFWs, that you guide them into their career and in their entrepreneurship journey. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. and amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you guys. I'll see you next Thursday for Success Live.